Some of you may be familiar with a rather historic, interesting and beautiful church in London. It's called Ethel Dreda's in Ely Place. It's medieval, uh, one of the rare survivals of a medieval church in Catholic hands. It unfortunately suffered during the last war, but it's a very beautiful place. The name of the street gives us a clue as to the origins of this site, Ely Place. This was the site of the London residence of the Catholic Bishop of Ely. And here was, in addition to his residence, his chapel. And his chapel was dedicated to St. Ethelreda, uh, who, of course, was a foundress of the monastery at Ely. Her feast day is today. She died in the year 679. She is a, a remarkable saint, a remarkable lady, uh, a, a saint for many reasons, but not uh, none, and certainly we are mindful of her deep prayer life, her fasting often after the night office. She stay up all night in prayer. She comes from a holy family. Uh, she has three sisters who are also saints. And their feast days are in a row. It's rather sweet. St. Sexburger, whom we honor on the 6th of July. St. Ethelberger on the 7th of July. St. Withberger on the 8th of July. So those are her sainted sisters. And today we keep St. Ethelreda. Uh, she married uh, an, old, an old husband called Tonbert, who uh, lived with her chastely. They pledged themselves to live a life of chastity. He died shortly after their marriage, but what he did was to leave her property. He left her the Isle of Ely. So after his death and remaining chaste, remaining a virgin, she remained on the Isle of Ely for five years in solitude and prayer. But her family said, Ethel Dreda, you can't stay here. You must marry again. And they found a teenage boy uh, called uh, Egfrid, who was the son of King Oswy, and said, marry him. And she uh, agreed to marry him. They said, we will also live together, pledge our lives in chastity. But when Egfrid inherited the kingdom, he said, this can't carry on. We must live together as man and wife. Ethelreda said, I, I don't wish to. I wish to give my body whole and entire in purity to Almighty God. Egfrid found this difficult, and we can understand his frustration. Uh, he went to the bishop, St. Wilfred. She went to the bishop, St. Wilfred. And so St. Wilfred had to decide what to do with this couple. And St. Wilfred said, well, I think it's only fair in the circumstances that you live apart. And he allowed Ethelreda to leave and to move into a convent, I'm afraid that uh, Egfrid was rather cross about this. And in consequence, as king, he said, okay, to St. Wilfred, I'm going to chop your diocese in half. So he cut the diocese into a smaller section. Ethelreda entered into a convent, and then she returned back to this Isle of Ely, which she'd been given as a bequest by her first deceased husband. And there she built a great double monastery, and she entrusted the lives of the holy monks and nuns to the rule of St. Benedict. So she occurs in the Benedictine supplement for the Benedictine monastic office in this country as a saint of the Benedictine order, which is why I thought I'd uh, share these few thoughts about St. Ethelreda by, by standing by the side of St. Benedict here in our church. A great and holy saint, a saint honored in this church that remains in her uh, honor in London, a saint celebrated uh, uh, today, uh, and a saint who gives an example to married couples, an example to all of us of how life throws up all sorts of strange uh, twists and turns. We have no idea what comes next. She had many different experiences. But one thing remained rock firm, steadfast, her faith, her commitment to God, her life of prayer. It had an enormous impact on those she met. Her own family was touched by that holiness, and her burial place in the simple wooden coffin in which she was laid became an immense a pilgrimage center 
unfortunately, uh, after years, uh, some of the um, holy uh, articles that could be bought there were less well made, and so the nickname of Tawdry comes from the holy images of St. Audrey, St. Ethelgreda, that were bought at her shrine. But that great shrine, sadly despoiled, uh, 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 um, was a center of pilgrimage. She is in heaven. She prays for me and for you. So this feast day of St. Ethelgreda, may this holy woman pray for all of us.